can we equate my method with your method? Because they, absolutely. they're giving yeah. the same answer. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, interesting. Mm. You see, the 18% per annum produced a low amount than the compounding monthly. But then we started, started getting this 19,6, you know, that actually produces the same amount as in Vela. Now yeah. watch this, let's go there quickly. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting very excited about this. This is very, very cool. If we take this this whole thing, okay, and Velo went, That's he what went, I did. yeah, he went, or let me, let me start with me. I went on this funny interest rate, which looked much higher than the 18%, 19562 to the one. That and gave mine? the same amount as Velo, which was one, Plus naught comma one eight Divide over twelve, 12 to the twelve. These this produced exactly the same. Okay. okay. Now very very interesting. You can of course divide both sides of this. You can you, you effectively can drop the two thousand, and we have a very interesting situation. We have a one plus naught comma one nine five six two equals one plus naught comma one eight over twelve to the twelve. Interesting. Notice two different interest rates. Very two different interest rates. Now, what do we call this rate? What what do they call that rate? We call this rate effective interest rate. Absolutely, yeah. That's a, that's very very important. As opposed to the eighteen percent nominal, this is referred to as the annual effective rate. Okay, let's have a look here. So in mathematical language terms, very, very simply it works like this. We say 1 plus, now notice, I effective, annual effective, gives you the same amount as in Velo's nominal rate. Interesting, hey? 18% so per annum, compounded monthly, and the 19, 562 those two interest rates do exactly. One is compounded monthly, the other per annum does the same thing. Very, very useful formula. Okay, very, very important people. What we have here is if you look at this, let's put that into picture there. You, there's a brilliant little formula. One plus IEF, annual effective, is equal to one plus, now watch this, the interest rate that was nominal divided by the number of compoundings per yeah. year, okay, to the power of, or well that's the interest, yeah, that's the N, and then you have the N at the top there, which again works on the number of times per year that you do that. So if it was monthly, that would be 12, you're dividing by 12, and you logically then have an exponent of, we always work this over one year. Okay, so that's great. Let's confirm it. Let's do some examples yeah. to see if this formula works. Let's let's have a look at mm -hmm. the formula once again. Let's go and look at this. Isn't this beautiful? There we go. You can see the nominal. There was the effective. Bam, it goes into, again, you can see there, summarizing everything we've done. And if we just put the into view, there's your nominal. Again, see 18% over 12 to the power 12. There we go. There's your effective. And of course, we needed a formula. And guess what? This is this magnificent formula that we've just derived. Okay, now we need to use this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Mvela if you can, if we can look at that 18% and actually then um, do an example relating to this. Okay, guys, let's 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 just summarize what these two interest rates are. 18% per annum compounded monthly. This was a quoted rate. Okay, it was quoted. It didn't, the 18% didn't take any compounding monthly into account. It is referred to as the, the nominal interest rate. But then of course we got the 19,562%, which is really an annual interest rate that does precisely what the, this 18% per annum compounded monthly does. But this rate is what we call the annual effective rate which of course, very importantly, is going to be referred to as IEF. So now, let us use this formula we have to see if it works with the examples that we're going to do together. Let's look at the first example. It says, convert a nominal rate of 18% per annum compounded monthly to an effective rate. Okay, what is the formula? Let's have a look, let's write it down let's quickly. Let's write the formula down. One plus IEF 
is equal to one, one plus, plus i num over n to the power of n. So we have to know what we're looking for. We have to convert the nominal rate of 18% to effective rate. So now we're looking for e for i e f. That's equal to 1 plus, can you just open up the bracket, 1 plus, what was our nominal rate? That was 0 0.18 divided by 12 to the power of 12. Very, very important. One thing you must you must be you must realize with this formula, you always work over a period of a year when you convert the one interest rate to the other. Very, very important. Let's That's carry so on. Important, that yeah. one. Let's yeah. carry on. So now we can use our calculator or we can take the one to the other side. So just put this. So that would be one point zero one five to the power of twelve. Okay. The next step is taking the one to the other side. Minus one. one. Yeah. Now, at this step, we can use our calculator, which can make our life easier. So it's 1.015. Okay, 1.015. To the power of 12. To the power of 12. Minus 1. Isn't that interesting, eh? That's sure. so interesting. Yeah. So it gives okay, us 0 0.1. Nine five six and two. That's one eight one seven one five. Okay, just taking everything. We want to put it as a percentage, surely. So it, it could be R F F. Let's go back. Yeah, very, very important. What Vela says here is absolutely important. Um, as an interest rate, an effective annual interest rate, we obviously gonna work with percentages. Percent. Multiply by hundred, nineteen comma. Okay. Should we round it off to two? Five six. Yeah, um, yeah, 19,56. And there we go. Very, very important calculation to do. You must, in, you know, converting from the one to the other, from the nominal to the effective. You can also convert the other way.